we have got the window guys here and they're doing some installing. Ian is assisting today. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see where they're at right now. Back out my kitchen window. I'm so excited. Working on Logan's bedroom there. Looks nice. What you doing now, honey? So, oh, just putting these nailing fins in. It didn't come on the windows. Gotcha. So putting those on. And then these, and this one will be ready for the guys. Or for us. And this is on, I've this is- teach, I've been teaching these guys how to put in windows today. <laughs> so they're putting on the first one, correct? For Logan's room, and this is the second window. Yeah. So you did this already for the first one. Well, they're fixed windows. And what's uh, what's the issue? You feel good about that we got them still? I don't like. I think these windows were designed to be lower in the wall. Okay. Sure. Shouldn't even be telling my wife this stuff. <laughs> She's gonna find out though. <laughs> Okay. See how that crossbar is? Okay. Yeah. I don't like where that is. I think it's terrible. Oh. So you don't There's like nothing we can do about this it. This right here. This window was designed to be next to the floor. Gotcha. And we built it up so that the window wasn't there. But these are actually tempered windows on the bottom and they would have been perfectly fine being right up against the floor. So why don't you like just just the placement? There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. You just don't like the placement. I don't like where this crossbar is right here. Yeah, I get it. You don't like I think that's stick. I think that's stupid. So it's just a visual thing. It's not necessarily yeah. that anything's no, quote unquote no, wrong. No, no, no. We well, said I'll show you what's wrong with it. I well, thought you meant something structural. And then this one, I got this one sitting up too high. I don't know what happened there because I have a mark right right there. Oh. And now it's up higher. I think that he, that they framed this in wrong and went and put it up. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. These framers that I had out here originally, well, I'm not gonna use this channel as a platform to rip into anyone and defame anyone, but why we didn't put their name in there. They didn't show up, number one. And number two, um, there's this wall wasn't laid out um, on 16s. So we had a bunch of screwing around to do out there. Um, and as you can see, I had this window marked out right here to be this high and they've got it another 12 inches above that, which is just stupid because my 10 year old son, there's no way he's gonna be able to reach that latch without standing on something. I don't know. Yeah, really not impressed with this uh, this framing company that we had out at first. I'm so glad that we got things figured out without them because they. I'm glad I didn't let them touch anything else on my house. Let's just put it that way. But we got Lola's window in. Looks nice on the side. I like the height yep. of that one, yeah, which is that. where the other one should have been, and it would have matched. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I'm not happy about it. But um, these are the ones we'll be waiting on until March to get, which is sucks. And same with the big ones across the top there. So these guys are getting ready for their second window. I'm going to move the lift for them. Today is the last big push for us to get these windows installed into the, our shipping container home. Unfortunately, we saved the biggest windows for last, but we've got the best help we can get. We've got Austin and John from Northern Hideaway Homes here to help us get these suckers installed.
They look good, Ian. Look nice. How not to use heavy equipment. <laughs> We already got the third one installed over here. Looking good, honey. Are you guys going to be putting any more today? Yeah. been placing windows of course and now we're gonna get in our great big front window I'm super excited about it we got our neighbor Chris over a different Chris than who you've met before just handling this window that goes in the front of the house was pretty much a nightmare. This th window has to weigh well over 500 pounds and we're working on a 500 pound capacity limit for this lift so fortunately we weren't extending out very far in fact we weren't extending out at all so I felt comfortable putting that much weight on the machine but it was extremely nerve-wracking moving this sucker because it, it's a window that we can't afford to replace. We paid 190 bucks for this $7,000 window. So if we broke it, we'd have to figure something else out because we don't have $7,000 to purchase one of these windows. to give a special thank you to John and Austin from Northern Hideaway Homes. You guys really knocked it out of the park today getting all these big windows set and thank you to my neighbor Chris who came over with some cups and was the fourth man on getting this big monster put in today. So thank you you guys we just can't tell you enough how much we appreciate your help and your expertise on our build. <laughs> 